Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend reading from the 28th until the 29th of August 2021. Let's get into your reading and let's see what is going to be going on around you over this weekend. We've got some herbs burning here. I'm going to send out some positive vibes to you guys. I'm also cleansing the area of any of the other readings. I've done. For some reason, these candles, they, they're nice because they're red, but they keep on burning low. So I don't know, I've got to keep pouring the wax out. Otherwise it's just like sad candles you know what I mean but let's go let's go into your reading and see what is going to be going on around you over the weekend the last weekend of August uh, what is your emotions going to be like how are you going to be feeling and then we're going to have a look and see what is going on around you so what is happening with the people that are around you and we're also going to get spirit guides advice out at the end of the reading five of swords you're either going to win or lose something here um this can be a card of conflict with the five of swords or like an energy of like i said either winning or losing it can sometimes indicate conflict that can be coming in what's up choose your battles no you're just playing with me really the seven of wands how is this possible i'm literally saying there could be conflict coming in here and the next card that comes out literally says choose your battles so be careful this weekend there could be a little bit of conflict you are going to move past it though nice you got a chariot card you may have to walk away from something as well spirit guide literally just said something in my ear i'm clear audience so i can hear spirit guides sort of like whispering away and saying stuff and they said some battles are not worth fighting no wonder it says choose your battles you may have to walk away from something that's just not worth it they even just said it's just not worth it okay and the chariot card coming up there this is also cancer's energy you may be dealing with somebody who's got cancer energy here there are certain things that you put your energy into and there are certain things that are just not worth your energy. And I kind of pick up on this vibe throughout this entire reading. There is some kind of something going on here that's not settled between you and somebody else with this energy. Also, another thing with the Seven of Wands, it's this energy of... If you keep your head, if you keep your mind straight, if you keep your actions clear, if you keep your your behavior straight and you, you think clearly, you should be just fine. And um, I feel like you're really looking into almost like someone's behavior as well. You might find out the truth here as well with regards to someone that you're dealing with. And I feel like the truth that you find out, you just, you're not going to want to have any. You see, you're walking away or you're moving away from what this is. But now, are you walking away or moving away from whatever this is alone or with somebody? What is going on here? This can be anything, by the way. It can be beyond a relationship. It could be a bit of drama going on around you and you might even be going i don't think i i don't do drama me personally i do not do drama so i uh, yeah mostly i just move away from it you know what i mean it's just not worth it to be totally honest some people thrive on the drama okay not me so let's have a look and see knight of swords coming in here this is in someone else's energy very quick incoming energy another chariot got two chariots another cancer energy also very quick moving energy definitely i feel like this is somebody coming towards you and they're coming towards you with a sword causing conflict and you're gonna to have to decide do i engage or do i not engage very quick moving a very quick incoming energy here let's see queen of cups can be talk about emotions here empress wow what is going on? What is happening here? You have they there is somebody coming in here. Um oh goodness, why? I don't know. I honestly guys, I don't know where this is coming from. But like in the past two readings that I've just done, and now it looks like three, it's just been people coming in from the past. I mean, what is happening here? I feel like this is somebody coming in here from the past that has had emotion for you. With the Queen of Cups coming up here, this is a person that's had emotion for you. They still got emotion for you. Um, the Empress energy coming in here, for some of you guys, you could have even been living with this person. Okay, you could have been, even had a child with them, being the Empress energy. It's also a very nurturing energy. This is Two of Wands. So if, if this is not a person, if it's not a relationship, this is a connection that could be family connected. Or if it's not family, it's like a friend that I've, you've had a long time because there's a strong emotional connection here, okay? So um, even could be a parent or a child, the kind of energy, that kind of vibe. But with this two of wands here, this has been somebody doing some a lot of thinking 
Because the two of wands in the reverse position, yes, it talks about decisions that need to get made, but it's about what the two of wands is thinking about, the person in the two of wands. They're thinking about maybe living the rest of their life, right, without ever speaking to you again, or without being around you again. They just never see you again. And I feel like this thought is what's bringing in this Knight of Swords very quick energy. And the chariot coming in there as well, it's this energy of them actually um, very much coming in quickly. I don't know if this is what you want because of the Five of Swords being there. You might feel like, I don't know, I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. And even the choose your battles, you like, you might be thinking, do I choose to give this person another chance or do I choose to just move on with the chariot card being there? It could be they're chasing after you and you running away with two chariots. You see what I'm saying? But let's get in here. Let's have a look and see. Let's get some spirit guides advice for you out here to see what on earth. Uh, let's go a little bit deeper here. It's very, very open energy coming in. I do feel like it's somebody coming in um, that you may not have been in communication with for quite some time. Um, it's unexpected because of that Knight of Swords being there very quick. Uh, unexpected energy so let's get in here and have a look and see i'm so curious judgment card definitely something that has ended now there's confusion coming in as well <laughs> it's something that has ended in the past now there is confusion as to what to do do you do this is it right if you go back to them is it maybe right if you don't go back to them if you leave is, is it wrong um you know all that kind of energy what what do you do now what do you do? Am I making a mistake? King of Swords, you got to think very clearly here. You're going to have to think very clear. You've got to use logic to guide you. You cannot use your emotion here. It's interesting that there's a King of Swords and a Queen of Cups right underneath each other. You cannot use emotion in this decision. you got to, and I think this is the truth that you're going to find out with the Seven of Wands being above it there. This um, choosing your battles and also talks about finding out truth. And um, I think you got to look at this in a very logical, straightforward way. Do not allow your emotions to cloud your decision. I think that's sometimes where we really go wrong. King of Wands energy coming up here as well. Look at that. You might... Um, I really feel like you've got to look at this in a very practical way. It's interesting. I do feel, honestly, like you and this person are going to actually have a face-to-face. -face. You know, look at these two people sitting in this card here. They're looking at each other. One person might be coming in with sort of like an energy of hope and passion and a lot of dreaming kind of energy, talking about dreams, okay? And somebody else is sitting here, it's like you guys are having a conversation, but your side, I feel like it's attached to this energy. It's this energy of let's talk practicality, let's talk facts. This person's talking more like fantasy, you know what I mean? More like what's still going to be, how things will be, how things are going to be still, what is going to happen. And I almost pick up this energy of you going, but look what has been. Look how things have unfolded. It's like somebody's talking um, hope and someone else is talking facts. You see what I'm saying? And this is a confused energy. I got to can't leave you guys like this. What's going on in the reading? And it's so interesting because a lot of the readings even get two of pentacles out, kind of showing like the need to wait and figure out more and to see how things unfold. You, you don't understand. It's been happening in the readings. The past three readings I've done, I don't know what's going on this week. There must be something in the air. Okay, but yeah. Um, with the King of Wands coming up King of and the King of Swords, I feel like there is going to be a conversation. But the conversation, it's almost like one person's very practical, one person's very hoping. You know what I mean? I want to get one more card out here because of that judgment card being there. Let's see what your spirit guides have got to show you. Let's have a look and see. Oh, Four of Pentacles. And it's the card that literally says the opposite of the Four of Pentacles in the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Because the Four of Pentacles is a card of caution. It's a card of needing to feel safe. It's a card of needing to have stability. It's a card of needing to feel like you're focusing on what you want out of life and you receive it and you protect what you have made. You know what I mean? But the Four of Pentacles also means being a bit afraid to open up. Being afraid to allow somebody in. And it's interesting that in this deck it says open up. How interesting is that? I honestly feel um, if you're going to have a very a conversation with whomever this is, um, 
it's time to be completely straightforward with them and be don't hold anything back it's say what you need to say and hear what they've got to say and then perhaps from there you might have an idea about what to do i am so curious i feel like getting just one look at the sun card i had to look under one more card you do have a sun card coming out here this could be positive it could be quite positive with the sun card coming up there it's literally showing that there's a possibility of growth that can take place here between you and them the only thing is is that it's got to be completely out everything's got to be out in the open nothing can be hidden nothing can be secretive nothing can be held back it's got to be totally in the open open up so that growth can happen with the sun card if there is any holding back from any one of the two of you um then it won't be able to move forward but if you guys are open with each other literally with the two chariots being there there's a possibility that this can move forward but if there's any kind of conflict oh my my ring light if there's any kind of conflict i feel like you won't want to move forward with it if there's conflict in this coming back together i feel like you've done with the conflict you don't want that anymore so you won't move forward if there's any kind of conflict that's what I feel. But there we go, guys. Thank you so much for coming into the reading. If um, the reading does resonate, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Um, you can even subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell. There's a little bell next to that subscription button. Um, it helps you not to miss a reading when I do release one, which come out on Fridays and on Sundays again for weekly readings and Fridays for weekend readings. Uh, pick a card readings usually come out on a Wednesday unless I'm busy. Um, so I sometimes get very busy. I do a lot of personal readings. I get booked up for sometimes a week or whatever two weeks ahead of time. Um, if you do want to check one out with me as well, you can contact me. There is an email below in the description box. Um, otherwise, pick cards do come out on a Wednesday. What else? Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social media accounts, you can go do that. There are links below. I'm on TikTok. I release some videos there that are not here, um, like two-minute tarot readings, which is quite fun. Um, and if you also want to check me out, I'm on Instagram as well. Uh, there's a nice community going on over there. I enjoy getting to know you guys actually on Instagram. Okay, thank you so much for coming in. If you, where and wherever you are, anywhere in this world, because I'm not even where you are, maybe I'm in South Africa, but wherever you are, I'm sending my love into your direction, no matter where you are. Bye, guys.